What's happening everyone? Welcome back to another edition of West Ham Fan TV's post-match pint, the only West Ham United post-match audio show on the internet. We've just <laughs> come back from this. Fucking hell. We've just come back from the London Stadium. It was West Ham 3, Southampton 1. Uh, Take me through the starting lineup, please. Changes again. Um Fabianski starting in goal. Uh Ngakia continuing at right back. That's the right choice. Yeah. I've gone out That's the right choice. Freswell left back. Owen coming in on the right, Fornell's coming in on the left, Rice and Noble in the middle, and Hilaire coming up top with Antonio. 100% spot on. So Bowen? Yeah, Bowen yeah. on the right. Okay. It's the team that everyone wanted. Well, the starting the forward line. Yeah. Uh, probably Suchek would have maybe fitted in for probably Fornells if he was fit, but it's a, it's a good a job he didn't because he got two assists. Yeah, no, it's the team everyone wanted, and there's no excuses today. There's no. Oh, you're blaming Moyes for not picking the right team. He picked the team that everyone wanted. And um, tactically, well, well, it, it works. Yep. No, it was, it, yeah, I mean, it was good to see Bowen get a start. I mean, I think David Moyes' comments yesterday, people were thinking, oh, he ain't going to get a chance. But maybe it was a little bit of a... Uh, mind game. Yeah, mind, maybe mind games. So... Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, exactly. The thing is, <clears throat> I think that comment, it was worrying. When I saw it at first, I thought, oh, no. It, this is one of them Sullivan presents that Allardyce was talking about. It's something we fancy him, we're going to go and get him, so, 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 so to speak. But I think it's, I think it's just taking the pressure off of him. You know what I mean? Like, I think in a way it is right to say that we shouldn't rely on Bowen to save our season. He shouldn't put that on the shoulder of the young kid. Yeah, you know I, what I mean, I, I think that's what he's done. Yeah. So he's, he's, he will be involved. He's not going to be another Jordan Hugel. He's not. He's going to play. And he, it, what he's done there today, he got a man the match. And um, he ain't going to... As long as he performs like that, he'll be in the starting line up all the time. He was a breath of fresh air today. I, I, I've got to say, he's a breath of fresh air. Just to see someone that ain't been burdened by the season, if you know what I mean. Just yeah. fresh fresh legs, fresh mind. Just thinking, right, he, this he's is my young. chance. This he's just come up from the championship. He wants to show everyone what he can do. So he's a perfect signing. It's a perfect player to have starting because he wants to prove to everyone, I'm good enough for the Premier League. I'm good enough for West Ham. And I'm good enough to score goals. The thing is, I, I, I picked this up in the Liverpool when he came on against Liverpool. His movement is a lot different yeah, to what yeah. we've had. You know, the wingers that we've had this season have been very, like, when they've got forward, straight down the wing. The runs he makes when he cuts in, you know, that's like inverted forward, isn't he? Yeah, none, yeah. none of our none of our wingers make that movement, and and it's, that's where his goal comes. Well, he, you know, I think he did play as a striker as well. I think yes, yeah. he played yeah. as a striker. So maybe that's, that's the thing. That's the good up. option, isn't it? Because he can play out wide, or if we need him to play out top, he can yeah. play out yeah. top. Yeah. Which is why, and I'll, I'll say this on my uh, instant matches, like if we're gonna ever play one up top, rather not play Ella as one up top, but maybe you play Bowen mm. as a lone striker. Because, I don't know about that. No, because the reason why, because he has got that energy, he's got that movement about him. He's someone who can make them run. Like, yeah, but you've got to be able to hold the ball as well. You've got, got you've also got to be able to compete. And that, that's what um, Antonio and Haller offer you, didn't they? Yeah. They hold the ball up. Yeah, but you, we've seen Haller as as a, as a lone striker. False so. nine. Different story. Yeah. Number number ten or, 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 or a true number nine. Yeah. Well, I mean, months. obviously, you play if Antonio's fit, but relying on Antonio. Yeah, that, that, that is a worry. Like you said, you're relying on Antonio and things like that. But, yeah. but when well, as long as the players are fit, play this, play Antonio, yeah. and play this system. Yeah, well, yeah. Antonio, didn't to, to be honest, so, so did Hilaire. Yeah. That's, yeah. That, that's the most I've seen him. He run. got a lot of criticism where we were sitting. I don't know why. I don't know what people were watching. He's, he's become that. Target, yeah, he, he's, he's the he's a record signing, isn't he? He yeah. ain't scoring. Well, he scored today, but apart from that, before this, he hasn't Last scored for really well. Yeah. I don't understand why any of the cunts talk about running around me sometimes. Honestly, I can't. The, the thing is, when you, when you look at Hilaire today over overall performance, Ariel Jules, he probably yeah. won more than he lost. He's won the most in the Premier League, isn't yeah. he? That's that it. Right. You know, and, and it wasn't until late when the game he started getting tired that the centre half got a bit better of him in the air. He, he was bringing players. Into I always, play. I always he find was, he, was he, he plays better. He plays better when he's got three up, yeah. two up top yeah. with him. Yeah. Yeah. You know, he, he's done that in previous games where he's had that. And, he must look now and think, I'm going to win them flick-ons. Antonio's there. He's got Bowen now. 
as well. So there's how many times we've seen in this season win headers and there's no one around. Yeah, imagine exactly. if we played two up top, right? Every game of the season. Imagine how many goals he'd have. Yeah. Right. But the thing, the thing is as well for me is you see today his drive to get when he's brought someone into play and he sees Bowen going down the wing. It's the most I've seen him run from the halfway line to get forward. All right, he ain't as quick as Antonio when Antonio sprints forward, yeah. but he's busting the gut to get there, and that's what we've not seen. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? We haven't seen that from him. So he, maybe he, he's he, had a bit of a kick up the arse. He's a confidence player, isn't he? Yeah. If he's scoring goals, look at the start of the season when he was yeah. scoring and playing yeah. well. You know, we he, he was probably one of our best players at the time. Definitely. But he lost that confidence because he, he scored. I think he scored three in his first six, and then in his next twenty-one, he only scored three. So, yeah. Yeah. but that also coincided with a dip in the form of the, of the, the team overall. You know, yeah. we, we sort of got found out a bit, and the team set up against as well. And to be fair, like. It surprised me when you saw the stats at half time that they had more possession. Well, I just see the stats now. They had 66% of the ball, the ball. Over, over the game. but and I, I, It didn't feel like I it. I know, though, it didn't did it? feel like it. But it's what you do with the ball when yeah. you've got it. And, yeah. um, I think that was the key. I yeah. think we've done more with the ball. Yeah. yeah. The, the, the I, thing I, think, I like is that we pressed them today, which is where the first goal came from. We pressed them. And Jared, Jared Bowen, I think, is a big part of that because yeah. he really was pressed. Yeah. And I like that. Four nails as well. He was closing down to that lead up to the first goal. Yeah. And then it was a, like, oh, no, I was going to say, Bowen has gone through and he, he tried it on Monday night, didn't he? At Anfield. Yeah. Yeah. But Alisson hit his head this time. He's gone straight over the goalkeeper. And it's a great oh, finish. Nice finish yeah. Lovely finish. Lovely finish. And that's what I said. We haven't, had a, we haven't had a player who makes that move and makes that run to get into that opportunity. That was you a know, lovely finish. I think Four Nails has gone under the radar a bit. I thought he had a great game today. Oh, yeah. yeah. Assisted in two of the goals. Worked, worked, worked yeah, hard. I'll be honest, when I look at the team now, I can't see many people that had a bad game today. I no. thought they all had a decent game. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. Like, I mean, even when you look at the back four, uh, a couple of times, I mean, especially for their goal, you know, they got caught out. But overall, Ngakia, Diop, Ogbonna and Creswell had a decent game, yeah. especially yeah. in Gekia, yeah. right? I've back. got to say, Noble is ready to take that place on the bench, I think. Three games in 10 days, he's, he's, a, he's looking fit, at... Fit so check replaces Noble today. Of course, yeah, yeah, but I'm just saying, like, I'll be happy now for, for, for Noble to... I, I agree, but if he's getting picked, he's going to he's, oh, he's no. play. He's, he's, no. a, he's, he's a professional football player, he wants yeah. to play football. Exactly. You know, no, no football player holds their hand up and say, look, drop me, I'm not good enough. Exactly. So and he gives it everything. Yeah, yeah he gives it everything. He'd be, he'd be the first one to think, well, hang on a minute, if this player's playing a bit better than me at the minute, of course. he needs to start over me. Yeah, you know I mean, I mean, probably a, I mean, he could have probably dropped Noble, maybe put Snodgrass in there today. But yeah. he's probably, looked. Snodgrass can't play three games in exactly. 10 days. So exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah. You, when, you're, when you're down there fighting, we've yeah. seen that over the years, you want Noble in there. Well, yeah, he's you know, yeah, your captain. Yeah, so exactly. if you're going to go Snodgrass over. And you saw that after the game, you know, he, uh, obviously Bowen went off in the second half but when he come on you know Noble went up the win went up the four nails put his arm around it and that's what you need sometimes that, players come well, in, young this players is the well. part of the season though this is this is what I'm saying this is the part of the season when these freak results start coming out so today's like I can't tell you how important today's game was I think personally if we'd have lost today's game We'd have been relegated. Well, with, with the results that are going on while we're filming this week. Oh, what's Watford, it? 3-0 to Liverpool? 3-0 to Watford. Well, 3-0 at Liverpool. At Liverpool. At Liverpool. And uh, Bournemouth getting a draw and then Norwich winning. If we had lost today, we would have been right. Yeah, but shot. as I said, like, I wasn't on post-match point Brighton, but uh, in the live shows that we've done, I've said, if we can get through the City and Liverpool game and no team pulls away from us, we've got a chance. And we've yeah. been lucky with results. Yeah, exactly. And even today, Bournemouth drawing, which I mean, a great result for Bournemouth. Yeah, but um, Chelsea... Chelsea equaliser has done us a massive favour. Yeah, exactly. And, and with one today, and it's, it's pushed us up a couple of places. All right, the Norwich result last night was the... That's what I said like, I tweeted out last night. That's your team talk there. Yeah. So yeah. look, boys, these are fucking up our arse yeah. now. Yeah. you got to go out there and you got to, you got to put in a performance. Mm -hmm. and, no, and we have. Exactly. We, we continued from Monday night. Yeah. I, said, I said every game now is a cup final for us. Every yeah. game is a cup final. That's how you got to look at it. There's, there's no easy game. Every game we've got to treat Well, Nob said we're going to need five wins. I think that's a fair old whack, but when you consider we've only won six all season, seven, including today, that's a fair old whack, isn't it? The, 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 yeah, way it is. the Liverpool defeat the other the other night, because the, the boys put in so much effort, reminding me of that 
season under Kirk when we lost to Spurs at home. Yeah. And that gave us the kick up the arse yeah. to go on that amazing run right. to keep us safe. All right, we were probably in a worse position then. Yeah. yeah but yeah. It, that can be, results like that can be the kick up the yeah, arse. Exactly. I mean, we go to Arsenal next week. They've just been dumped out of the Europa League. You know, they've still got to play. They've got the FA Cup during the week. They've not got a lot to play for, no, to be fair, have they? No, that's what I mean. Yeah, top they're, four they're, is probably out yeah, there. Yeah, that's, that's the thing. They're going to keep pushing to try and get top four. Well, it's seven points for the top four. Exactly. Moment, we change, so we change still, a lot. The thing is, it's the, yeah, Aubameyang's the X factor, isn't he? He's like the yeah. chief over them. Like. And, and then, and then we, we come back here and we play Wolves, which ain't going to be easy, well, but Wolves have got Europa League on their mind yeah. at the moment. So. And, and, and the thing for me as well is when, like, like we said before, Arsenal have not the Arsenal of old. You know, yeah, they, they are, they've got some really good players, but if you get about them, you can get a result. If we go there like we did Monday, yeah. we will get a result. Yeah, exactly. But it's going there like we did Monday. Yeah, that's that's what I... That's what I don't trust West Ham to do. I've never, I've never, I've supported West Ham all my life. And I don't remember the last time we had a, a run of consistency, if that makes sense. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. a consistent run of games where we're consistently playing well. Um, we need to do that now. As you, as you say, there's results um, from Norwich last night, which was a, a, a bit of a shock. Mm. Liverpool are smashing, uh, sorry, Watford are smashing Liverpool as we speak. Bournemouth are going to, take, going to take a bit of confidence. We've got to take that confidence into next yeah. week and get something. Keep, keep the same line. Well, I'm, I'm not even going to say it, it's not desperate that we get something at Arsenal, but every every point's so but precious. The thing is, winning today, if you get a point at Arsenal, it's a good point. You know, if we had anything but a win today would have put us in a terrible position. Yeah, yeah. And, and when, the thing is, when you're down in around the bottom three, points ain't great. Yeah, you know, work single points. You need them wins. And now we've got this win, we can probably afford to try and get you know, if it's if it's 80, go 85 minutes and we've got a point, that's a good point. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. you haven't got to go go old to try and get the win because we've got that little bit of a cushion. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it but it's when it's when we go to the likes of Norwich when we go when we play Villa. They're the games where a point is definitely not. Well, I'm hoping by the time we play Villa, we won't need Point Listen, if we if we go into that last game here against Villa and we're four points clear, up, I, I don't care. You know, oh, exactly. as long as we stay up now, that's the aim. Stay up. Yeah. You know, we have to chalk this season off. You know, if we do stay up, make the right um, signings in the summer and rebuild yeah, for next season. Seasons, yeah, but it is where it is, mate. It, 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 what can we do? Are, you you know, you just got. Because I'm not saying it's going to happen, but next season we can go and have an unbelievable season and finish in like Europe. Yeah, yeah. So as, as we have done in the past. Yeah, it's, yeah. but one player we ain't mentioned yet, Declan Rice, hundredth appearance for West yeah. Ham today. And, and, and what a game! Yeah. Yeah. Anyone remember his first game for us? Yeah. Go on. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was a cup game. No, it wasn't. Uh, it was only away last season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A couple of seasons though, I mean, you know, we won that day and he's won on his 100th appearance, so... Yeah, what, you won? yeah. what is it? I didn't remember, no, I, no, no. I didn't remember it. Oh, I don't know. It was a cup game, that one. He's down so short, No, look, Declan Rice has been unbelievable for us. We had, a discussion. Game. we had a discussion the other day about him. Um, and it, it, look, he's 21 years old, he's got the world at his feet at the moment. He can stay here for another four years and if he wants to move on, he'll only be 25. Yeah. Here, he's, he's getting football week in, week out. As I said, 100 appearances for a Premier League club at 21. Exactly. Not many players have done that. Did you, make about, about, did you see the tweet the other day? I think I'll, I'll quick tweet it. About this geezer with the geezer from Leeds. Did you see that? Did you see that? Oh, Calvin oh, Phillips. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, but it's like we can go in with the England can go into the tournament this summer with um, sort of like Calvin Phillips, someone who's played 174 times for his, for his club at 24. Yeah. Um, or we can go in with um, Declan Rice. I was like, the thing is, you know, what? Like, fans I, are going to say, of course, of course. The, right. the only thing I'm worried about is Gareth Southgate, and he he, he chooses him. So I, I don't care what elite. Leeds are a relevant club. They haven't been in the Premier League for how long? 16 well, years now? You say that, they'll be back up. Well, good luck to them. Possibly. Good luck to them. But they've been out of it 16 years. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, look, I'm not, I'm not going to knock Calvin Phillips. Right, he's, I'm not going to say player. he's a bad player. player. This is the problem with, with, with people in like media and, and fans in our country. So they're getting behind these young players. 
they always want to put players down. Yeah, Declan Rice went through it. You've seen that with Rice, haven't you? Rooney went through it. I don't think that. Is that the criticism in the Rice gets from the people? Because he don't play for a top four club. Yeah. Well, I think some. This was the point I was going to make. I think the Declan Rice, that quote about Declan Rice by this kid, by this geezer, I think it's a writer. I think that's driven by the media. Yeah, but the problem is Declan Rice is never going to get the plaudits that he deserves. One, because of the position that he plays in, and two, because of the club he plays for. Listen, if he, if he was playing for Manchester City, City, Liverpool, they'd be so far up his arse. Put it this way, right? If Declan Rice was at Man City, say he didn't play for West Ham, he's at Man City, he would, if it, and he made his debut two years ago, he probably wouldn't have 20 appearances oh, for City so. now. He's got, just, you, you he's see got 100 they, for West Ham. You see how, how they handle Foden. Yeah, you know, he Phil Foden is wasted. Yeah. Phil Foden should be in the England squad. He should have the same as Declan Rice. He should have a week in, week out. But clubs like Man City, they don't want to do that. Because yeah. they yeah. hold them back. Yeah. The thing is, I think even if Declan Rice did play for us, I think that's what Armenia do. They tear down England. Sterling does, doesn't he? We're the only, we're only country Sterling. in the world that our media seem to get stuck into our international players. Because when of, when other, of, other, like you go to Brazil, Italy, Spain, they're worshipped. Yeah, of course. You yeah. know? But that's our media. You look at our media, as soon as a manager, as soon as an England manager is appointed, they're trying to bring him down. Oh, yeah. Look what they've done, done with Big Sam. Because that, 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 that is set him up. That, that is, is the culture, culture in this country. Yeah. It's, it's cancel culture. culture. Yeah. It's cancel culture. culture. It's, yeah. it's, uh, that, and that is what it sells their papers. It's bad news. They're like failure. They're like failure. But I think as a country as a whole, I think we... It's, it's, we it's, enjoy it's, that it's, sort of thing. Do you it's know what something I mean? we dig at the Americans, where the Americans are so driven. That Positive. Yeah. Second is the first. Is, is first last or last, yeah, whatever. It yeah, is. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? You, you're a winner or you're a loser. That's it. There's no second place is first loser. That's it, isn't it? You know, and that's the difference between our thingy. Our, our thing is always all the taking part and all that, where the Americans are driven on. You've got to be the best of the best, and that's it. You know, there's no second best. And, and, and you know, you, you wouldn't you wouldn't see other media's in other, like you said, other countries doing what we do to our players over here. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, 100 appearances. He had a great game today, I yeah, thought. Um, really Antonio really took his goal well. Yeah. It's a good, good finish. That was. Yeah. Yeah. And there's goal. Yeah. Confused. No, I was so confused. Haller was 100% what he'd yeah. done. I mean, he had his eyes on the ball. Well. You know, he won the head of the keeper, was, fumbled it. I was confused with the goalkeeper because I was thinking to myself, like, if Khan for the ball to give it, how the fuck did the goalkeeper end up behind Haller? And Haller is sliding in. I think Haller's trying that really well. He's misjudged the flight of the ball, the goalkeeper. But the thing is, it was a. Hopefully that's not leaving too much in our microphones, people. That's um, no, the thing is, that's um, that's a docking station. That's yeah. their own, that's their own speaker. Um, the thing is, it was, it was, a, <laughs> it was a poor ball from Antonio. So I thought that was that's a big loss of course. To be and fucking Ali has won it and did it, but then you think he's going out, but he doesn't give up and he goes in. It's an unreal finish. It's an unreal finish. The thing is, the thing is as well, Antonio. It, yeah, you say he puts a bad ball in, right? But he got the ball into the box. No, he did, it but it's just, it was just a little bit to me. When I saw it, I thought, it's a little bit too high. Yeah. 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 But Ale, as time he just gets up there. Yeah. And he like I said, his eyes, his eyes are on the ball the whole time. He's not con he's not looking at the key pass. And to be fair, I was sitting there waiting for VAR to come up and chalk the goal off. We didn't even have any VAR yeah. today, did we? It was actually the first game. game. What? I actually forgot about VAR for 90 minutes because there was even when Haller scored, it was just like I, I, I didn't even think VAR. I was just like, it's nice. Oh, I was. I was. The way that goal went in, I was thinking, this is that up, right? I was thinking it's a goal, but I was thinking they might say it's a foul on the keeper because keepers are so protected. Do you know why I didn't realize? I didn't know it was. I didn't, I didn't think it was yeah. a, a foul on a goalkeeper because the goalkeeper's reaction. Yeah. Yeah. He put his yeah. hand on his head, he knew he made a mistake. Yeah. If he'd have gone, ah, yeah. they probably no, would have looked see, at him. I didn't think something. it was a foul, but I thought they would fucking go and fight. Because it's like any tiny little thing, they'll fucking go and look at it and shook it off. And the way things are going, yeah, that's the problem with the Premier That's the problem with the Premier League at the moment, isn't it? Yeah, every time a goal goes in there, you're yeah. just yeah. Don't you know thinking something's going to happen. 
the thing is, I celebrated, but in my head I was like, this might get chopped up, but I don't give a shit, I'm going to celebrate. Yeah. I didn't score. But no, it was a crucial goal, because just before half time, put two on. Uh, I'm so, I'm so the, crucial, the crucial, crucial, crucial one was Antonio. Right? Yeah, because they just yeah. thought Danny Ings on. Ings come on, and, and then they scored. Yeah, and you think to yourself, oh, here we go, they're going to nick one. I mean, their goal was just poor defending. We, we pushed too far forward. Yeah, again, again, we got caught on the break. Yeah, we got caught on the break and too many, too many of our players were over on the right hand side and it only left Creswell and he was just on his own, he had three running at him. And look, it's a great cutback, great finish and you know, but... To, to be honest, I, I thought their, their goal was brilliant counter-attacking football. Yeah. You know, the way they played four around and, and, and you know, took their chance. Yeah, you can't, you can't argue with it, can you? I mean, we can argue our side, but we should have defended better and not been... But from their side, it was a great, great yeah. team goal. Yeah. If we had scored a goal like that, we'd be all sitting here now going, oh, what a fantastic yeah. goal. Yeah, and that's, that's, that's the thing. It was, it was a good... It was a well worked goal. It was a well worked goal. Yeah. Well worked goal. But and it came from us just hitting the back. You know, he's yeah. uh, I think he was four hours Yeah, which is obviously he's made these teams. That's a fair part of the team. 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 That's a fair but the result was the main thing today and three points and it, as I said, it put us up a couple of places. We're still only, I think, what, we're two points clear? So, you know, Villa have got a massive game tomorrow, they've got a cup final, so... Yeah. Who's their game in hand against? Do we know? Uh, I hope it's Liverpool away or something like that. <laughs> yeah. but, um, the thing is, teams are, teams below us and just around us, they've still got to play City, Liverpool, and, but we've got... Arsenal, Tottenham, United, Chelsea. Uh, Chelsea. But Chelsea at home. Yeah, not a fancy. Tottenham away is uh, it could go either way. Yeah. You know, Arsenal away. Arsenal same again. Away. Chelsea go away. It's about picking up the results against the Burnleys, the yeah, Norwich. Norwich. Uh, we've got to play Newcastle. Yeah. Um, who else we got? Uh, Villa. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I can't I remember, can't remember. It's all, my mind's gone fucking blank but uh, what them? yeah what we've got to still play here so they are teams that we should be picking points up against but as I said nothing's guaranteed in the Premier League so we're not out of the we're not out of the we're, 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 no 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 no, no. We, we, we can easily go and get a result against Spurs we're not against Chelsea and Arsenal and then lose to Watford Norwich yeah. and Villa yeah, yeah. but I, I think it has to persist in this formation this lineup, the system yeah, yeah, it's got to stick with it. Stick with the system. I know Moyes has got a lot of criticism lately, and rightly so, but today he got his spot on. He got the players, play. as soon as they crossed that white line, they all performed. Everyone stuck to their job. All right, we made mistakes. It's going to happen. Yeah. But we took our chances when we had them, and they could have more possession than us, but the only stat that matters is the one in the top corner that says 3-1 to West Ham. Yeah. I thought we did so well. We did set balls today. Yeah. And that comes from press. And, and for me as well, when we when they pulled it back to one all, we could have easily gone in West Show a bit and sat back. Yeah, That's what I was worried about. Man, but we didn't, we stuck to the game. Man. I mean, if we'd have gone in one all half time, we might be sitting here talking about a completely different yeah. result. But yeah. to get that goal just for half time was massive. Yeah. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's a, it's a huge win. There was some great. In Ah, get out. There were some great individual performances today. Um, man the match, rightly so. Bowen. Yeah, yeah, that is, yeah, he, he deserves it. Yeah. I said, you, it was tough to pick between Bowen and Antonio and Leo and Bornhouse for me. Uh, my man in the match, personally, I thought was like, uh, uh, Bowen, but uh, Ngakia for me was, I thought we had a great game. He's throwing for a bit if he's been Yeah, fair. yeah, but yeah. He, looks, he just looks so confident on the ball, didn't he? And he don't look fade. He went up against one of the best players in the world the other day, Marne. Yeah. And it, it didn't look out of place. For 90 minutes, he was, you know, up there yeah. against him. He's quick. Nick, what do you think? You've been quiet for a bit. Just listen to the music, mate. Yeah, yeah, it's all right. Um, good. Good. Relieved. Yeah, it's a relief. It's a relief. Yeah. 
Yeah, we was all looking to his game. Where are we? I think that's our uh, fifth win in a row over Southampton now, so we've got like a little. Really? Yeah. Is now we've got to go again. Yeah, we, we can't drop now. I don't. It don't matter if we're playing Arsenal next week. We can't drop this this intensity and the, and, and the performance. Even if we lose to Arsenal, yeah, we, we need to put this performance. Yeah, if we go to Arsenal next week and we put in a performance, but we lose, you know, it, it's horrible. You don't want to lose, but. The effort's there. Yeah. We're not going to win every game, we know that. But as long as we're putting in the effort and we try to nick a result here and there. Yeah. Well, yeah. I want to talk about the We've had loads of these ex-players and players 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 and for me, they don't know what they're talking about. No, they ain't got a fucking clue what they're talking about. They, they don't, they, what they don't understand... They, they don't, don't separate, separate it. it. Yeah, they can't separate the, the, the against the ball but not against the team. They, they think where we're against the ball, you're against the team. And it's not like that. You're, we're against the ball yeah. but we're for the team. We, 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 had, we, had, a, we had a protest today, right? Outside the ground, in the devil. But, at the same time, we've gone to put a it doesn't connect. The fact that I think as ex-players, they think as players, so they try to think that maybe it's affecting the players, but I don't think it is. You know, and as you said, the protests happen outside, they're not spilling into the stadium. But even Liverpool, there was balloons on the side of the ground, and it's it, 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 amazing performance. It's nothing, it's so simple, because we're all there, Every time that whistle goes, we're all singing and we're all behind the scenes. It's ideal if you can't be any more bored behind the scenes. I just, I just think from now, now we've got to put that performance in on the day of a protest. None of these pundits or education ever fucking heard that shit in here. I don't want to ever hear that there. The rest of the season. I don't think it's fair. I don't, I don't think it's fair. I, the thing is, like, I said this the, the other day against, like, with all these pundits and all that, criticising fans and all that. It's, it's, it's not fair. fair. Like, you, 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 you heard the talk to the machine game again the other day about about how we're, we're like Simon Jordan all of a sudden, oh, they're, they're mistreating you. They're mistreating you. They haven't fucking been. What was this, uh, what was this, uh, like, violence saying towards David Gold? What makes it? I see a tweet. It's the same category as what, um, the Man United games were. I see a tweet the other, the last night from Simon Jordan, like, one of these little silly, Oh, I had to cancel an eBay bid because I've just bid eight quid and I'm nearly owing West Ham. What makes me laugh with that fleet blonde cunt is that he don't mind coming over here and taking our corporate so he can go fuck himself. He's a failed chairman, chairman, he's a wanker. And the next time someone robs his Rolex, I like give him a good fucking idea and all. I can't stand the cunt. Honestly, I cannot stand him. I feel like he says a lot of things for reaction. Of course he does. Because he's about he's on the fan side and he's anti Tom Sullivan. Now, all of a sudden, oh, you get a bit of traction, fucking being like, oh, because he, he, he does what he's told. Because he works for TalkSport. TalkSport's all the same. They do it. Adrian Durham, I listen, you, I, I've stopped, I used to listen to TalkSport. I don't listen to it no more. I'll tell you, I, tell you, I listen to it in the morning because I listen to Alan Brazil and Alan Quest because they talk absolute sense and Ray Parler as well. That Durham is the biggest prick going. And he does it because he knows he gets yeah. calls coming. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, they, they, I'll turn it off. The last time I listened to them was when he was talking about Declan Rice, saying that Declan Rice is too good for West Ham and blah, blah, blah. And maybe he was right, but it was what he was saying. He was just so fucking... And I was angry. I was driving on the A13. I swear, I run and they, they didn't put me through because I would have called him a cunt live on out. I could not stand him. <laughs> he, he had the stand to finish in the top four. Uh, he's an absolute prick. And he predicted us to finish top four. I'm a Jordan. I've got no words for that. He's a knob. He's, he's, he's so out of touch. As I said, he's so he's out of touch. Out of touch. I've seen him walk out of this stadium so many times. Yeah. Right? He's in the corporate bit all the time, but yet he sits there and slags off our club. And he's called Fanny. Yeah, but he hasn't, but he said he hasn't been to Palace since, since nah, he, he stopped home. Probably, probably not welcome. He's not welcome. I'll be honest, he said he didn't want to because he was like, he was girlfriend. He didn't really care. He didn't care. He said he didn't want to be with his girlfriend. Listen, there's a lot of Palace fans who don't like him. Nah, they don't like him. Listen, there's a lot of Palace fans who don't like him. Nah, they don't like him. Listen, there's a lot of Palace fans who don't like him. Nah, they don't like him. Listen, there's a lot of Palace fans who don't like him. Nah, they don't like him. Listen, there's a lot of Palace fans who don't like him. Nah, they don't like him. Listen, there's a lot of Palace fans who don't like him. Nah, they don't like him. Listen, there's a lot of Palace fans who don't like him. Nah, what right, should we finish up? Yeah, well, do you know what? Oh, yeah, the yeah, moves uh, changed. Great, great, uh, great win today. I'm, I'm, I'm well over with that. Um, keep the game, boys. It's going to be a long old slog, but we can do it. We can do it. I said weeks ago, I still think we'll stay up. I said that. I said it's going to come down to the last six games where we get most of our points, and I think. 
Yeah, yeah I, I think, think we're going to start. Off, you know, I think, I think there's. It's hard to see it over the last few weeks, but there is three worse teams than us in that bottom three. And I just, I think we, I think we can get another four, another four, maybe five wins. I think we'd be, we'd be I'm, I'm just not counting my chickens. I don't want right. to say it. Thank, Thank you very much for joining us. This is West Ham fan TV postman. Fine. Go uh, check out all the fan cams. Uh, we'll be building up for the Arsenal game next week. I'm, I'm, I'm going to do a few things for Arsenal fan TV and stuff. We'll have a match preview. Um, I'm not working at the minute. I might as well do some other content as well. I might even bring back the musings this week. No, um, not a musings. Oh, I'm telling you, I've got to film a day somehow. Musings every day. Uh, yeah, long musings. Uh, thank you very much for joining us on this. Thank, thank you to Smoke Bubbles for hosting us again. Uh, sorry about the music this week. Hopefully, it weren't too bad. I'm not nervous until I get down there. Yeah, it, it, the, the guys over here are having a good time. Yeah, thank you very much for joining us. One minute to say, boys. Come on, you eyes.